everybody, this is Booklooms and welcome to my channel. Today we will be making a rainbow loom crown tail beta fish. As you just saw in the little clip, you just saw my little beta fish Selena and I just got Selena and I thought it would be fun to show you how to make a cute little beta fish charm of your own. So this is one I've made and Here's another one. This is actually supposed to represent my fish. And then here's this one. So let me tell you the supplies that you will need for your beta fish charm today. First, you will need your rainbow loom, of course. And you will also need your rainbow loom hook. And you'll need a holding hook. <laughs> and you will need a holding hook. Today, my beta fish is going to be a little bit unrealistic with the colors, so you'll have to pick out two colors. One for the fin and the tail, and another one for the body. You'll also need one small pony bead for the eye. So today, for the body, I'll be using the Rainbow Loom. I believe this is the Cotton Candy or Sweets collection one. I'll be using this color for the body, and then I'll be using the electric blue bands for the tail and the fins. So please gather your supplies and we will begin. The first thing that I recommend you do is that you take your small pony bead and you thread it through the color of your beta fish's body. So whichever color band you would like to use for the body, Please thread your one small pony bead through it. And now we can begin. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to make the beta fish's tail, which is right, right here, this one. So please get your color that you'll be using for this color, this color, and this. And that's what we're gonna be using right now. So I'll be using the electric blue. So what I'm gonna do is I have my holding hook, which I'm gonna work on now. So I'm going to take my hook right here and then I'm going to take two bands and I'm just going to wrap them around once around the hook like this. And now I'm going to take two more bands. I'll wrap them around the hook again just like this. And now we can kind of push these together and now take two bands of your body color, place them on the end of the hook like this, and now we'll take these bands and place them onto here. So you'll have something that looks like this. And now you can just place it on your hook just like this. So now what we'll do is we will make the bottom fin. So right here. So once again, I'll be using the electric blue. So what I'll do this time is I'm gonna take my electric blue bands and my hook, cause that's all we're working on now. And I'm gonna take one band, wrap it around the hook three times like this. And now I'll pull that through two more bands. Just like this. And now it's pulled through. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two more bands and we're just going to pull them through this section right here. So we have two more of our blue. We'll take them through here, place it back on the hook just like this. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to take two more electric blue and all we're going to do is take this band and we'll pull all of this onto here. Just like this. So this is our bottom fin. And now we'll continue by working on our top fin, which on our beta fish right here will be this fin. And once again, we're gonna work on our holding hook and what we'll do is kind of almost the same exact thing. 
except we'll make our chain a bit longer. So what we'll do is we have our one band wrapped around three times, just like this. And now we'll pull two more bands through it. Right like this. So we have two more bands. And now we'll repeat that three more times. So we'll just, we're just actually, we're taking this and we're pulling this over, pulling this right here over just like before. So one, two, and three. So one more time. And now we'll pull two more of our electric blue bands through everything on our hook. Just like this. So now we have our top fin, we have our bottom fin, and we have our tail. And now we can start working on our rainbow loom. Before we start laying our bands on the loom, please make sure that your loom is in the rectangle configuration, which means that all of the pegs will be next to each other lined up. And now we can begin. So I'm using the cotton candy bands for the body. So I'll start laying my bands. So we're always using double bands for this part of our project and I will tell you if we don't use double bands. So we have two there, two, so we have a little diamond shape here and now we'll continue So we'll lay two bands here, and we'll lay two bands here, two bands here, we're going to stretch two bands to the side like this. Two bands here, and now we're going to continue going down and then to the side. So now down in the center. To the side and now like this. Okay so this is what you should have on your loom so far and I'm sorry that I cut out my camera battery died so I'm gonna do the rest of the video on my phone. So what we have is this on our loom this is our basic layout without our extensions and what we're going to do is we are going to place on our extensions so then we can start looping. And the first one that we have to place on is our eye. So that's just gonna go across like this. And now we're gonna start with our fins. So the one that we just made, the longest one, we're going to take that off. And we are going to place this one. And it does not matter which direction it goes in. We're going to place this one, we're going to place it from here all the way down to here. So just like this. And what we're going to do is we can just stretch it over this peg for now. And now what we'll also do is we can place 
our other little fin, not our tail. We're going to place that here and here, just like this. And once again, it does not matter which way that one goes. And now finally, for our last one, our little tail piece, we will place that all in one piece, just like this. So this is what our loom will look like. And what we can do is we can add a capped band for the head, but you don't, this is optional, you just loop a band around your hook once and you can place it across. But if you don't choose to do this, it will not make much of a difference. So this is our layout and now we can start looping. This is what your loom should look like. If my bands look a little different, it's just because this is the second time I'm doing this and I had to take it off because I was looping and I wasn't careful. So I'm just redoing this part, but this is how your loom should look like I just showed you. And I lay out the bands the same way. So you'll, you can loop the same way as I did, even though I replaced my bands. So we're gonna loop slowly. So we're gonna go pull through this one and we want to see which band goes first. So these two bands are first because right here. And now we're going to go back in. We're going to grab these two bands and we'll pull them to the side just like this. So now what we'll do is we can pull down this extension. We're going to pull it back and these two bands that we have right here are going forward so we'll just pull our extension out and now we'll go back in carefully we'll grab these two bands and pull them to the side and now we'll pull through this extension we'll pull forward just like this so we have this so far now what we'll do is we'll move up here and we will pull this back We'll grab the two bands, pull forward, we'll go back in to the side, and now we'll go back into this peg right here, pull forward, we'll pull forward here, and now this one, we're going to see what's first. these bands going forward next is these bands to the side and next will be this band and I accidentally pulled one of those bands over here but it will not make a big difference and now we'll go back in go all the way to the bottom grab the bands and pull to the side grab the bands pull to the side here and now we just need to grab these bands pull forward just like this and this is our whole looping and now what we'll do is we'll take another one of our cotton candy colored bands or whichever color you're using for the body we'll go through Just like this, we'll go through all the bands and we'll make a slip knot. And this will keep your cute little beta fresh in, it will keep them together. So now we'll take our beta fish off the loom and we'll see what she looks like. So this is what our little beta fish buddy looks like when we get her off the loom. And she is a little unrealistic color for a beta fish, but I think she's a cute So this is our cute little beta fish and I hope you like her 
I hope you'll consider subscribing. If you put, if you make a betta fish, please post her on my Instagram page, my Facebook page, anywhere where I can see it. And I will like it, I'll repost it, I'll share it. I would be so happy if you make one. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and please subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.